Have a flower. And have a wonderful day. What you're doing is loitering outside my building. Now I see you here every morning trying to hand out these flowers to people who couldn't care less. And it's a waste of time. Well, I don't view it that way. Do you suppose I built my fortune by flitting about? I worked very hard every moment of every day, and that is the only way to achieve success. But did all that success make you happy? It made me rich. But that's not really the same thing, is it? No one asked you. I'm not about to take advice from someone like you. Well, I like to think that I'm focused on what really matters in life. Give me a break. You may think you're spreading joy, but really, you're spreading weakness. That's a lonely way to go through life. Flower? Get out of here, or I will call the police. I need those figures now, Jerry. I don't care if it's your family vacation. Get this done, or I'll find someone else who can. Knock, knock. Beth, what are you doing here? Happy anniversary. <laughs> I came to take you to lunch. I really can't. It's been a hectic morning. Oh, it's always hectic. Come on, it is our anniversary. What do you want me to say, dear? I want you to say you'll come with me. We never spend any time together anymore. You're always working late. I don't have time for this argument right now. And I'm not gonna apologize for my strong work ethic. It's because of my work ethic that we have the big house, the fancy cars, the expensive clothes. Well, that's just stuff. I mean, none of it matters if I don't have you. Give me a break. You know what? I'm tired of you taking our marriage for granted. Where are you going? Not now. I'm trying to work. Sorry, it's gonna have to wait. The boss wants a meeting right now. What is this, sir? Several of your senior managers have lodged complaints against you, Howard. Almost our entire staff has complained to HR about the deteriorating work-life balance. That's a nonsense buzzword and you know it. This is business. It's not about balance, it's about making money. Company morale is at an all-time low. Most of our employees feel like they're working in a hostile work environment. Then they should toughen up. I've never asked anyone to do anything I wouldn't do myself. That's just it, Howard. Most people aren't willing to do what you do because they value their life outside of the office. That's their problem, not mine. Howard, I can't afford to have my entire middle management team quit. So, either you find a way to make some changes, or I'll make a change in leadership. Tough day? Oh, not now. Please. I'm about to lose my job. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Really? Hey, I know it doesn't feel like it right now, but this might be the best thing that's ever happened to you. Somehow I doubt that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. To succeed in this business, you have to put work first. And that's the only way I know how to do my job. But they're telling me I have to change. It's impossible. Listen, everything happens for a reason. Sometimes it's hard to see what those reasons are, but they're there, just waiting to be discovered. Let me ask you something. How does a person like you, I mean, living on the street, <laughs> keep such a positive attitude? Well, believe it or not, I don't always live like this. This used to be me. <laughs> I lost it all. <laughs> you lost a billion dollars? Yep. And long before I lost the money, I lost what really mattered. I lost my family. 
I lost my friends, my loved ones, all because I was chasing the almighty dollar and not focused on what mattered, really appreciating life. That's why I live like this. I'm out here to remind people to appreciate life. Got any advice for me? My wife is furious with me. Deservedly so, I might add. So I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Hey, be honest. Be sincere. But most important, you gotta be present. The love that you guys share is still there. You'll see. And doesn't hurt to bring her flowers every now and then. What are you doing home? I came home early to tell you that you were right. And I'm sorry. I promise. I will never take you or our marriage for granted again. <laughs> Come on. Taking you out for our anniversary. <laughs> Well, from the look on your face, I would say that the talk with your wife went well? Very well, in fact. I'm glad to hear it. But hey, you didn't come all this way just to tell me that, right? No. Came to offer you a job. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Look, yesterday could have easily been one of the best days of my life. After I made up with my wife, we talked all night. It was amazing, just like the old days. And that never would have happened without your advice. Well, that makes me happy to know that. But hey, I don't want your money. I'm just really glad I was able to help you make a positive change. Well then, how do I fix this mess of work? You're accusing me of creating a hostile work environment hmm. with a deteriorating work-life balance? Well, if I were you, I wouldn't overthink it. You just have to remember that they're people with lives, not just your employees. Talk to them, ask them about their families, and pay attention. You do that, hey, the rest will take care of itself. I promise. Okay, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> Daniel. There you go. Y yeah. Yes, sir. Call me Howard. Huh? Tell me something about yourself, Daniel. Really? Yeah. Mr. Marks, I'm so sorry to bother you, but I, I just found out that my mom is very sick and the doctors don't think she's gonna recover. I haven't taken a day off in over four years and I, I was just wondering if, if it's okay if I go spend a few days with her. I'm really sorry to hear that. Of course, take all the time you need. Please sit down. Sure. How are you holding up? It's been really hard. But um, I'm trying to hold it together. Thank you so much for asking. Not at all. Please let me know if there's anything else I can do. Anything. Bye, everyone. Oh, try not to stay too late. So, did you take my advice? I did. And I gotta say, it's been a pretty great week. <laughs> I got to know some of my people on a whole new level. Of course, I don't know if it's gonna be enough to keep my job. I'm on my way in to find out my fate right now, in fact. Oh, trust me. You got this. I like it. Hey. Thank you for everything. 
If I still have a job in a few minutes, first thing I'm gonna do is make sure you're never homeless again. Howard, I asked you to make some changes. You did exactly that. But I'm sorry to say, you won't be staying in your position. I understand. Thank you. Now, wait a minute, wait, you didn't let me finish. You won't be staying in your position because you'll be taking over my position in the company. You know, God, I have, I have waited for you to finally realize what makes a business successful. It's the people in it. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. Howard, I gotta be honest. I really didn't think you had it in you. How'd you do it? I had a little help. As a matter of fact, would you please excuse me for a moment? Sure. I need to go thank someone. Hey, handsome. What are you doing? And here I came to surprise you. Why don't we take the rest of the day off? I got some good news to share. 